Well, hello everybody, welcome back to another super exciting, merry, magical Christmas video. Yes, if you guys clicked here because of the title, welcome to my channel, if you are new. If you are not new and you've been following me for a few years, welcome back, you guys. It's been a bit since I posted a video, and this video is going to be a throwback to some videos that I used to make years ago when I first started my channel, and I haven't posted one of these kinds of videos in quite a while, mainly because I always talk so much in them that the files get so big and the videos get so long that it just becomes too much to edit. I'm sitting there for days editing me showing off things that I have bought. But today we're gonna make this a nice quick, speedy, hopefully Christmas haul for 2020, you guys. It was a great Christmas as usual. If you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook or any of the social medias, you hopefully will have seen my Christmas morning festivities and fun. It's a few days after Christmas now, so this video is going to be late. Cross your fingers that it gets up sometime within the early new year because Lord knows that I love to take my time while editing my my videos but today we are going to do a quick haul video hopefully there is tons of stuff and I, I truly don't remember who got what for me this year unfortunately there's just too much and Christmas morning we spent hours and hours opening up the presents and to this point now I, I don't even remember who got what there's like a couple things that I know like specifically who got me what but other than that if I don't know I'll just show it off or say it's from Santa or something whatever and also just a quick note as well if you guys are not a fan of these videos maybe click off I know I'm a huge fan of seeing what people got for Christmas and that's what inspired me to start making these videos years ago but over time as well especially in 2020 the year of like canceling and stuff. I'm not posting this kind of video to brag or make anyone feel worse. It's basically just me showing the things that I have got for Christmas because I think it's fun and I know that a few people out there do enjoy these kinds of things like me. I love to see what people got on Christmas and that's why I like making these kinds of videos. So if you guys are not a fan of these kinds of videos, go find another video on my channel or click off. If you guys are a fan of these videos, sit back. Hopefully it's not too long. Let's get started. There's gonna be no particular order for the gifts that I am showing. It's basically just like whatever I can reach and show and then get out of my way quickly. I I always do like to start off with the stockings though, and I had two stockings this year, one from Santa and one from Brandon, so let's start with those. I will grab Brandon's stocking first that he got me. So sweet. It's my Scooby-Doo stocking that we purchased this year. He got a matching one of a different Scooby-Doo design, and then I have this one, and he filled it up good for me. So let's start. We have this Coca-Cola with my name on it. Love that. We have a good old bag of chestnuts. I love making roasted chestnuts in the oven, and this year I made tons of them, and then I couldn't find them ever again in stores. <laughs> I got a Terry's chocolate orange, which I'm obsessed with. I love them so much. He got me some R&B's pink ribbon garlic adobo peanuts. No idea where he got these from. They taste delicious. I tried a few of them earlier. They were good. He got me a Sensationals Wax Ginger Peach Spritz Wax Cube thing for our melter that we purchased a couple months ago when we moved into our new house. He got me a package of Peppermint Cookie Lint Door Chocolates, which she has conveniently taken down. So, so sweet, love those. He got me a package of Double Truffle Hot Chocolate with a little red truck on it. You guys, this year was our year of red trucks. Because we moved into a new place this year, all of the decor that we did down here is like all red truck inspired. So we have a red truck tablecloth, red truck like shadow boxes, red truck stocking hangers, everything on our dining room table is red truck. Like little um, salt and pepper shakers, so cute, I'm obsessed. So he kind of like made a theme with a bunch of the goodies inside the stocking being red truck as well, which is really cute. He got me a package of Blistex, which I always need because I know I love my chapstick. He also got me a little thing of candy cane lip scrub from Lush, which smells really, really good. I've never tried this before, but it smells delicious. I have the bubblegum lip scrub and I love that one, so I'm sure the candy cane is just as good, minty sweet. And then he also got me this package of candy cane Tic Tacs with another little red truck on them, you guys. Love my red trucks. And then what else is in here? Oh, he got me a, um, uh, what are those things called? Mini Brands. He got me a little Mini Brands ball with like the toys, Mini Brands toys, which I have opened up and thrown away the other packaging of, but it's a bunch of little mini toys in there, which is really cute. So that was my stocking from Brandon. I love it so much. Something really fun that he does as well is he actually individually wraps every single item that he puts in the stocking. So I also did that for him this year because he said that was one of his traditions with his father. So I got every single little thing here individually wrapped and put inside this stocking, which just makes it even more fun to open. So that was the stocking that Brandon got me. Let's move on. So next up here is the stocking that Santa got me inside of a nice Walmart bag. Thank you so much, Santa. So first thing in here is some cotton rounds. I always need these to take off makeup, cleanse my face and stuff. 
Those are always a good addition. Next up in here is a silicone baking sheet, like a little silip hat. I baked so many cookies, guys. I think I baked like over 300 cookies this December for gifts and for the family and stuff. And these really would have come in handy beforehand, but now I have them for this year when I do all of my other baking. So thank you so much, Santa. I got these Kinder Happy Hippo Christy wafers, which I've never seen before, but they look good. I got some bamboo skewers. I love to make my Disneyland skewers, so those will definitely come in handy. I got a cast iron brownie baking kit with Nutella. So I'm assuming it's gonna be like a Nutella brownie. Sounds good. I love Nutella. I got another Terry's chocolate orange from Santa. If you say you love them, everyone gets them for you, right? I got a package of semi-sweet chocolate chips, which are great for baking as well. Love those. Put them in the hot chocolate, whatever, right? I got some Lindor milk and white chocolate chocolates. I got a couple of things of deodorant, which is so good. This is my favorite scent, Bear Glove by Old Spice. It literally smells like the L'Oreal Kids shampoo with no tears. Shampoo. I got some Sensodyne toothpaste for my teeth. I got a Fairy Dust Blue color changing white hot chocolate, which is really cute. It's like a little Tinkerbell, I guess, kind of thing, but blue. I got a silicone basting brush, which is always good to have in the kitchen. I don't have one right now since we've moved, so I got that. I also got an orange, just a little mandarin in the stocking. Brandon got me one too, but I ate that one already. This one has just been sitting here, apparently, for a few days. Oops. And then lastly, in here, I got just a few perfume samples of things. Some Britney Spears private show, Britney Spears sunset fantasy, and then Britney Spears private show again. Just a whole bunch of little perfume samples that I guess they give out when you buy perfume at places. So that's it. That is my stocking from Santa. Let's continue. Again, no particular order for stuff. I'm just gonna reach and grab something. What is the first thing that I grab? It is this pair of socks, you guys. These are like slipper socks that Brandon's dad got me. Brandon also got a pair of his little doggies. These ones are like walruses, I think, or see, yeah, they have, they have tusks. I think they're walruses. But super long, super cozy, love those. Next up here, I have this mug, which I think is one from my sister-in-law. Yes, so it says Gunkle. Hopefully you guys can see that with the lighting. Now I'm like an uncle, only cooler. See also fun, good looking, hot, all things that are true. If you guys didn't know, I have a nephew. My sister-in-law and my brother have a son. And so Daxton, my nephew, got me this mug. Thank you so much, Daxton. I love it, it's great. Next up here from my friend Caitlin, I got a couple things. These are some cheese knives. We love doing little charcuterie boards whenever she comes over and just devouring all different kinds of like cheese and meats and little nuts and stuff. So she got me these cheese knives as well as this beautiful cheese board, which I didn't have, like I, I don't have a cheese board. We always just use like a plate and it would fall off the plates and everything. But this is absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited for this. It would look great in our kitchen. It's huge, if you guys can see, it's like bigger than my head and I have a pretty big head. And uh, it's beautiful. It's nice, solid wood. The cheese and meats and stuff will look great on this for Instagram. So thank you so much to Caitlin for that. I love it. Next up here, I have Monopoly Beetlejuice Edition. I know this for certain is for my mom. I asked for this on my Amazon wish list, and looks like she got it for me. So Brenda and I actually played around with this last night. It was tons of fun. Classic Monopoly with a Beetlejuice twist, all different kinds of Beetlejuice figures and stuff, and the board is all different characters in the movie and stuff. So love that. Thank you so much, mom. Next up here, I have a stainless steel triple screen green sifter. I've always wanted one of these and Brandon and I watched a Hallmark movie a couple weeks ago that was like Christmassy themed. There was this gay couple in it and they were uh, baking with one of their moms and she had this little sifter and she was showing him how to use it and I was like, I want one! I don't know how my sister-in-law knew that I wanted one but she got me one so thank you so much Tasha. I love that. It's great. <laughs> then next up here I got this package of little spoons which were not on my Amazon wish list, but I love tea and my mother knows that I love spoons so she bought us this package of spoons. I don't even know how many there is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different little flower design spoons. Great for serving tea when you have company over. Not that anyone's having company over right now, but for the future as well. Love those. Thank you so much, mom. Next up here, I got Britney Spears Prerogative Rave Perfume. This is something that I wanted as well, and I'm obsessed. It smells so good. There's the bottle, Prerogative Rave. It smells delicious, kind of like her other Prerogative fragrance, but different. Next up here from Brandon, he got us these little knobs for our closet in the bedroom. They're Mr. and Mr. So it's just kind of like cute. Yay, Mr. and Mr. Knobs. We can change out those ugly, plain ones that we have in the room now, because they're gross. 
Um, love them. Thanks, Fran. Next up here from my sister-in-law, we have this Rachel Ray 3965 No Repeats, a year of deliciously different dinners cookbooks. A little quick story with this one. I actually had one of these cookbooks that I'd gotten years ago, and then when we were living in our last house, I was loading up like above the pantry that was built into the wall, and I was thinking the ledge above was completely solid, and I was like, I'll put all my cookbooks up there. I went to go put this cookbook up there. Turns out it was not solid. It was an open hole, and this cookbook fell down in the wall. Like, unable, you literally have to break the wall to get it out. So I was like, great, never doing that again. At least it was this cookbook. And I guess she remembered that I wanted this or that I lost it, and she picked it up for me. So thank you so much, Tasha. Now I can actually use it and not have to worry about the cookbook lost in the walls forever. Next up here from Santa, I got this Scooby-Doo thousand piece puzzle. Pretty cute, I think that's the design right there on it. Thousand pieces, that's quite a bit. It should take a while to do. If you guys know me, you know I love Scooby-Doo. And then next up here from my friend Samantha, I got these coloring books, they're horror coloring books. This is Freak of Horror coloring, and then this is Disney horror coloring. And there's some pretty like morbid, gruesome images in here. As a Disney fan and a huge fan of horror, this is like the perfect thing for me. I'm obsessed with them, thank you so much to Samantha, can't wait to sit down and color some terrifying horror images. Next up here from my mom, she got me this Smithcraft stainless steel zester. Since we moved, I no longer have a greater zester thingy, so she bought one for me, knowing now that I needed one, and I'm obsessed. I love these little microplane zester, great for parmesan cheese, foods, you know, simple things. Next up here from Brandon, I got this Wiccan Kitchen Guide to Cooking Magical Recipes. I think he said that this was from the kittens, Sarah, Mary, and Winifred. So thank you so much to the kittens. I have hidden them away in the bedroom because they were causing a ruckus as I was trying to set up, but thank you kittens. Love this gift. They have no idea what this is. But it's it, like a Wiccan inspired cookbook with tons of fun recipes and different ways to like cleanse your kitchen and your home and stuff. So love this. I'm obsessed. It's beautiful. Next up from my sister-in-law's father, Ron, he got me this wireless charging pad, which you can use for like tons of different phones. So in case you don't have like the specific charger or you have a friend come over or something and they need to charge their phone, this is awesome to have. So just plug it in, sit it on top and it charges like anything, I think, really cool. Next up here from Brittany, I got this Britney Spears 12 month calendar. It is so cute. I'm obsessed with this. I actually got two of these calendars for Christmas this year, one from Brittany and one from my mom. So I took one of them back to the store and exchanged it for an office calendar, which is somewhere right here, actually. Everything was crashing down. So I got two of these, exchanged one of them for this. So now I have these two calendars. Love them so much. Britney Spears, this is the office one for 2021. It's great, beautiful. Next up from Brandon, I got this gingerbread latte bath and body works body spray. I think it smells good. Yes, just like Christmas. So in case you guys are ever in need of like a Christmassy scent boost, just spray your gingerbread latte body spray and make it smell like Christmas all year round. Next up here from, everything falls over. Next up here from my mom, I got this fajita pan with wood-based cast iron. I've never made fajitas before, but I think she wants me to make them, I'm assuming, because she got me this. It's for oven, stove top, barbecue, or campfire use, and it says that it's pre-seasoned. I don't really know what that means. Like, I have no idea what that means, but uh, it seems cool. <laughs> Fajita pan with wood base. Thank you so much. Can't wait to use this. I shall make fajitas one day and see how they turn out. Next up here from Santa, I got this office Hotel Hell shirt. Welcome to the Hotel Hell. Check-in time is now. Check-out time, never. So if you guys have watched like The Office before, hopefully you have. It's a bunch of little fun scenes. And like Dwight, when he puts the CPR dummy's face on his face, and wears it, really creepy, but I love the shirt, so great. Next up here from Brandon, I got, uh, actually I think it was from Remy, so Remy the Rat. I got this copy of Ratatouille on 4K. If you guys haven't seen on TikTok, I don't use it personally, but Brandon does, and this Ratatouille musical thingy has blown up all over TikTok, and I love Ratatouille. I own it on Blu-ray, I own it on DVD, but of course I need to upgrade to a 4K copy when it's out, so Brandon got me this, and I'm so obsessed. I can't wait to watch it now in all of its 4K beautiful glory on our giant 4K TV in the back, it'll be great. Next up here from my mother, I got the Escape Room expansion pack, Welcome to Funland. The Escape Room games are so much fun. They're basically like an escape room in a box and if you get this decoder thingy, you can get all these different expansion packs and they take like a couple hours to play the games. This is a specific expansion pack for the Welcome to Funland edition, which sounds pretty cool. So they all have different difficulty levels 
and different like clues and stuff that you have to open, different rounds that you have to do in order to get to the next round, but they're so much fun. So I haven't tried that one before, really excited to play it, can't wait. Next up here I got another perfume, you guys. This year was very scented. Uh, this is the Britney Spears Private Show Perfume, one of my favorite ones from Britney. It smells so good, delicious, like bubblegum, vanilla, cotton candy. All my favorite kind of scents, right? And then next up here from Brandon, I got this dessert decorator tool. It's a set, so it comes with a bunch of tips, two couplers, and a decorating tool. So you basically just like put your frosting or icing inside of the pump and then squeeze it out instead of using like bags. But it also comes with a little tip so you can do it more easily than like squeezing with a bag. Seems pretty neat. Again, I could have used that before Christmas, but I mean, I will use that continuously throughout my life. So I'm glad that I have that now. Next up here, I'm gonna show a few things that are like doubles or triples of things that I had already received this year from other people. The thing about creating an Amazon wish list is the fact that if you don't select the option to remove the item from the wish list once it's purchased, other people may buy you the same item, which is totally fine. I mean, I'm not blaming anyone for that. That just means that you might get like a couple doubles or triples of things which did happen this year for me, but I have no problem with that because I can literally just send them back and exchange them for other things. So I will show you guys what those things are now. There's a little stack of things here. I received this protective iPhone case, which was my mistake actually because I selected the wrong size for my phone on my Amazon wish list, It literally had like 30 words in the description and I guess one of the words that I missed was Max because this is the Pro Max phone. I have the iPhone 11 Pro, I think is the one that I have. So this is just one size too big so I will just send this back to Amazon and exchange it for the right size. And then next up here I have this Love Creekwood book, a Simon vs. novella if you guys have read or seen the movie Love, Simon. It's one of my favorite books ever, so good and the movie is just as amazing and I'm obsessed with it and there's a whole series but Becky Albertalli has created like a little sequel novella kind of thingy about the guys when they're in like college. So they've grown up now, they're off to college, and they're continuing their email conversations. So I asked for this book, and I didn't get one copy. I didn't get two copies. I got three copies of this book, you guys. Here's one, here's two, and there's a little story with number three. Quick backstory to this now. My family and I decided to do this like Icelandic tradition of you buy a book and give it to another family member on Christmas Eve, and then you spend the night like reading the book in bed while also eating chocolate, which sounds great. But we did like a secret Santa version of that. So it was me, my brother, my mom, Brandon, my grandma, and my sister-in-law. And we all like put our names in a hat and pulled out a name and bought somebody in that circle a book. And this was on my Amazon wish list. So this is the book that I got for that from my brother. He was my secret Santa. So the family all decided to write inside like, oh yay, we'll do like a little Christmas tradition thing. And this will be the start of our annual Christmas book exchange. So we wrote all of our names in it. And then lo and behold, on Christmas morning, I open up a second copy from Brandon, which I love. Again, I'm not complaining at all, but that just means that I have to exchange this one. And then throughout that as well, continuing to open the presents, I open up a third copy of the book from my mom. So again, just in case you guys have an Amazon wishlist, make sure that you select the option to remove item from wishlist once it's purchased so that you don't end up with multiple copies. But the good thing about that, uh, getting three copies, is that I'm able to exchange this one on Amazon. And I did take back the other one that Brandon had got me and exchanged it for this book at the bookstore. So I literally just like took in the receipt and the book and was like, I'll exchange this for this. So I still have the two copies, need to send the one back to Amazon, but I will be keeping the one from our book exchange. Love that. The book that I did exchange it for though was Tales from the Haunted Mansion, volume four. I think that's the number four. Memento Mori. If you guys haven't seen these books before, they're like Disney, whoops, there goes the receipt. They're Disney books inspired by the Haunted Mansion, like franchise, the ride, the movie, all that kind of great stuff. I read the first one, but I haven't read the other. I don't even know how many there is, four or five now. But this is the fourth one. I figured I might as well pick it up while I see it. That way I can just like continue to read them and then I will eventually get the third copy when I need it. But for now, this is great to have. Thank you so much to Brandon and everyone that had purchased me a copy of this book this year. Can't wait to read them all. They'll be great. And the next couple items that I received like doubles of were this book that is a cookbook from Zach Neal, The Nightmare Before for dinner cookbook, which is recipes to die for the Beetle House cookbook. So I guess there's actually a Beetle House restaurant in New York and Los Angeles that uh, this chef has custom created all these different like crazy recipes and stuff for that are all inspired by like Tim Burton movies and characters and stuff. So I saw this on Amazon, added it to my wish list, and my mother got me a copy. And then as well as my best friend Samantha, 
she also purchased me a copy as well. And it's so funny because she didn't even know that it was in my Amazon wish list, which she did have access to, but she just saw it and was like, oh my gosh, Blake would love that cookbook. I'm gonna get it for him. So she had no idea that it was in my Amazon wish list, but my mom did purchase the copy from my Amazon wish list. So I have two copies now, not a problem though. I will just be exchanging the one that my mom got me, probably for another cookbook or something just as good. Can't wait to try all the recipes in here though. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with anything Beetlejuice and Tim Burton, love all of his films. And when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. And I got two copies, I lucked out extra. <laughs> and then the last like double-ish item that I received is this Scooby-Doo Betrayal at Mystery Mansion board game. Yes, I had this on my Amazon wish list as well. And my mom got me a copy of it. But Brandon also purchased me a copy because this came out back in the summer. He actually purchased this from one of our favorite toy stores in Langley called Toy Traders. And I didn't know that he had it for me, obviously, because it's a gift, it was a surprise. So I did add it to my Amazon wish list, and that is when my mom purchased me a copy. So again, not an issue. We will just be returning the one on Amazon for something else just as good. Brandon and I did try out a few rounds of this game, and I am obsessed. There's like 25 different versions of the game inside here, all based on different Scooby-Doo movies and television episodes, and it is so much fun, you guys. If you don't know my love for Scooby-Doo, you don't know me, but uh, it is so much fun. I'm obsessed. It's always a new adventure every single time you play, even if you've done the episode before, and it's always such a good time. So I can't wait to play more of this, and when I exchange that other copy, of it, I will find something else just as good. Let's move on now to more regular gift. Next up here from Brandon, I got a pair of underwear. Yay, everyone needs to get underwear on Christmas. This is a pair of sack day tripper, whatever that means. But he knows that my favorite animal is sharks. Sharks and bats are my favorite animals. And so he got me this cute little pair of shark underwear, which are just adorable. I love them. They have a little gold tooth on some of the sharks, if you guys can see there. Hopefully this doesn't get like demonetized or flagged because I'm showing a pair of underwear. That would be weird if it did, but love these. Can't wait to wear them. I love sharks and now I will have sharks on my body. <laughs> Next up here from Taylor Swift, I got a copy of her Folklore album. This is, it's one of the special editions from her website. I think it's In the Weeds is what it's called. And it is just, it's the exact same album as all the other ones, but she made like eight different versions when she released it to capitalize on the success, I guess. So like mega fans would purchase every single copy. I am a huge mega fan, obviously, but even I do not need eight copies of the exact same album with just a different cover. If you're a Taylor Swift stan, no judgment at all. I literally own everything else that she's ever released, but uh, I only got that one copy of that album. No, that's a lie, because I have the other copy that I purchased from the actual store, Summer record which is just like the regular version anyone could get anyways thank you so much to Taylor Swift for getting that for me or whoever it was from I love it thank you next up here another scent this is the sunset fantasy fragrance by Britney Spears she looks great in that picture you guys I don't know whose head and body and face that is with the hair and stuff but it is beautiful she looks great love that pretty packaging it's the same packaging as like all the other fantasy perfumes that she does just with a different little like twist to it so it's a bit of like a, a pink and orangish yellow ombre it smells delicious just like a little tropical sunset and now that I have this in the collection all is right in the world so thank you so much to whoever got this for me I love it and then next up here from my sister-in-law's father again Ron he got us some ornaments these were for Brandon and I and he took a chance you guys he's like, I didn't know what to get you, so I got you some ornaments, and it was the right chance to take, because we actually didn't get any of these ornaments this year. We usually purchase quite a few of the Hallmark Disney ornaments, but this year we were like, you know what, we have tons of ornaments on the tree, let's just pick our favorites from the Disney store. So we only got a couple from the Disney store. But Ron went above and beyond and got us these amazing ornaments. So he got us Princess Anna from Frozen 2, this Rapunzel one from the animated series. He got us this beautiful Cinderella one holding a glass slipper as big as her head. And last but not least, he got us this Mulan one, which is one of Brandon's favorite Disney movies. So he loved that one, but so sweet. He didn't have to get us anything and he did. And I really appreciate it. So thank you so much, Ron, for those amazing ornaments. As soon as this video is done, I'm gonna hang them up on the tree I've just been waiting to film this so that I could put them up. And then next up here from Brandon is this soap from Lush. It is the golden pear soap and it smells like a golden pear. I don't really know. I don't want to open it because I don't want to like ruin it, but it's just, it smells good. I don't even know what it looks like yet. I haven't opened it, but it smells good. It's golden pear. If you guys are curious, go to the Lush website and look up what it looks like because I haven't even seen it yet, but I'm sure it's great. Next up here is a gift from my sister-in-law, Tasha, and it is a cute set of a little coffee cup and a saucer, a little plate. 
And I don't know if you guys can see what they say, but it says, Ew, David and Alexis. And this is from the television series Schitt's Creek, spelled S-C-H-I-T-T. -T. Do not demonetize me because that was not a curse word. Do not worry. But I'm obsessed with the characters in this show. It's one of my favorite shows. Amazing Canadian series. It just basically like picked up tons of notoriety and like fame within the past year and a half or so. Since it came available on Netflix, it was just like a CBC series that was on TV in Canada and then got like worldwide famous and it's like everywhere now. The series is officially over now. It ended earlier this year, but still great. So I'm obsessed with these little plate and mug. It says you, David, and Alexis, and those are the siblings, David and Alexis Rose. And I can't wait to just sit there and be all like hoity-toity and cute with my little mug. <laughs> Thank you so much, Natasha, for that. I love it so much. Next up here is a gift from Brandon that we actually opened up on Christmas Eve. If you guys maybe saw that in my Snapchat story or my Instagram story, it is a pair of pajamas. Yes, we actually gifted these to each other. I got him a pair and he got me a pair. His was green and mine is this cute little red pair and we wore them on Christmas Eve and Christmas morning when we woke up to open gifts. So I have never actually had like a full matching set of flannel pajamas like this before in my life or at least that I can recall in my adulthood and we were like you know what let's do it it'll be cute for photos and stuff so it's a nice cute flannel set it keeps you warm in the winter time which is good and they're really really soft and now I officially have like a real pair of a matching pajama bottom and top set, so it's great. <laughs> Thanks, Brennan. Next up here, we have yet another calendar. This is the Disney Thomas Kincaid calendar, the Disney Dreams 2021. The front picture there is Little Mermaid. All the pictures are there on the back, or you can just go to Google and look up and see what they truly look like. I have no idea what April is. I'm hoping that it's Princess and the Frog. Cross your fingers. Princess and the Frog's my favorite, but uh, otherwise, I need another calendar. I... I have lots of rooms in this house and I will need a calendar in every single room, I guess. So thank you so much. That was from Brandon and the Disney Princesses. So thanks guys, love it. Next up here from Santa, this is the Peter Pan lavishly illustrated interactive elements book by J.M. Barry. It's like the classic story of Peter Pan, but this is really neat because it actually comes with like fold out maps to Neverland and stuff. So it is the classic book, but then there's tons of other interactive elements to the story. And like I haven't really looked through it and read it all yet, but it seems really, really cool. So if you guys are curious, this is illustrated by Mina Lima. You can go and look and see if it's available online. I don't know where this is from, but it is a beautiful book and I can't wait to read through it and see what all of these like special elements are. There's this little slip thingy that was on it and it says that there's like a fold out 3D map to Neverland and it comes with a TikTok croc compass and stuff. So yeah, it seems really, really cool. So can't wait to sit down and read that and look through it. Thank you. Santa. And then next up here from Santa as well, I've got this Hannah Montana secret celebrity pop star doll, which is a total throwback because this was one of the very first Hannah Montana dolls that I got actually back in like 2007 or whenever it's from. Yeah, 2007. So this is like almost 14 years old now. That's crazy. But I'm obsessed with this. This is like the classic Hannah Montana outfit. If you guys imagine like Hannah Montana, like her first album cover, the first season of the show, this is like the iconic Hannah Montana outfit. Literally, it's the outfit that she's wearing here on the back of the box. And it's stunning, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna keep this one in the box because I have one that is opened and that I have played with over the years, the past 14 years. But now that I officially have one in the box, I'm gonna keep it in the box sealed for as long as I possibly can. But I love her, she's so cute and I'm so thankful to have her now. So thank you to Hannah Montana and Santa Claus. <laughs> okay, we're slowly but surely getting through it, guys. Next up here, we have this St. Ives Glow on the Daily Face Regimen Set. It's a cute little skincare set. It has watermelon stuff in it, and I love watermelon, and so I asked for it, and Brandon's dad got it for me, which was super duper sweet. Thank you so much to Kevin for this. Can't wait to try out the stuff and see how it is. I'm sure it smells amazing. I love watermelon, and anything that's scented like watermelon is just to die for, so love that. Next up here from Brandon, I got the Office Trivia Deck and Episode Guide, and I think this was actually listed like as from Jim, which is my favorite character from The Office. I love him so much. Where is he? He's back there. There he is. Love you, Jim. So it's basically just like a little mini book with all the information to each episode, and then a trivia card game, which I haven't tried yet. I need to find someone that's like super skilled in office trivia and facts and stuff and then battle them and see if I win because I'd love to do that. And then next up here I have this cute little gift box with some stuff inside. I believe this was from Brandon, I think. It might have been from Tinkerbell. I think this is what he might have listed it as. But it's a bunch of lush stuff with the Snow Fairy scent, which is my favorite scent at Christmas time. It's only available. This is a bubble bar, I think, and it smells so good, so glittery, so sparkly. You just like crumble that into your bathtub when the water is running and it makes a huge load of bubbles. And then also this Snow Fairy bath bomb, but it's like a three in one, I think. It comes with this bath bomb, this outside thing, and then there's like, I don't even know, bath bomb broken up inside. I really don't know what it is, but it smells amazing. Like I said, Snow Fairy is my favorite scent. 
So thank you so much to Tinkerbell and Brandon for collaborating on that gift together. I love it. And then next up here from Brandon as well, I think it was from Hercules actually is what it was listed, but it's this Hercules Meg doll from the Disney store. Disney store released a whole bunch of new princess dolls and like side character dolls and stuff this year. And this is one of the ones that I didn't have. I purchased myself, I got Alice and Wendy, but they also made like a new Esmeralda. They made the Meg, they made a new Tinkerbell version and stuff. So they're all beautiful. So Hercules got me the Meg doll, so thank you so much for that. And then next up here from my grandma, I got a Italian collection pasta maker. Oh, there it is, it says there, pasta maker. So I've never made pasta before, but apparently I had said at one point that I want to learn how to make my own pasta. And my grandma took that and she's like, I'm gonna roll with that, let's get him a pasta maker. And she did. So I'm gonna have to learn how to make my own pasta now. Maybe in one of these like eight cookbooks that I got for Christmas, there'll be a recipe for pasta. We'll see, right? Next up here as well from my friend Caitlin, she purchased us a Eight Nights of Tea Sip by Candlelight set. Y'all don't know, oops. I love David's tea and I love trying new flavors of tea. And this is all delicious loose leaf tea. David's tea actually went bankrupt earlier here in Canada and they closed the majority of their stores across Canada and now they can only be purchased online or like a few flagship stores that they have, which I never get the chance to go to downtown. But this is a cute little like trial set of a bunch of different kinds of teas and stuff there on the back. So can't wait to try out these ones and see how they taste. I love trying out new teas and finding some favorites. And then from there, all the little minis, you can like pick your favorite and then just like buy that basically. Next up here from Shawn Mendes, I got this Shawn Mendes cologne. This is Shawn Mendes signature for women and men. It's like a unisex fragrance. I'm obsessed with this. I got a gift set of this scent a few years ago. And then from that point I was like hooked and obsessed. It smells so good. Don't even know what it smells like. It just smells good. And they don't make it anymore. I don't know if it's discontinued or just available like exclusively to select retailers or whatever, but they don't sell it at Walmart, Shoppers, London Drugs, no perfume place is like that so I don't know how Santa got this but thank you so much so this is Shawn Mendes signature one and then to go with that Shawn also got me Shawn Mendes signature two he looks so beautiful in this photo you guys I'm obsessed looking he's like <laughs> Ew, that's gonna be gross. But anyways, yes, this is Shawn Mendes Signature 2. It's apparently similar to the original scent. It's the same bottle and everything, just in like a different coloring, but it has like different notes to it as well. So here is what the bottle looks like. So whereas the other one is like a clear turquoise, this is like a muted, soft kind of beige, opaque color, which is pretty, it's nice. I just love him, I'm obsessed with him. So love that. Thank you so much, Shawn, for these two. Can't wait to wear the heck out of those and never find them again, it's great. Next Next up here from my grandma, I got some Maldon sea salt flakes. I had been looking for flake salt everywhere and no grocery stores sell it. I don't know where my grandma got this from. I think she said it was from like some specialty baking store or some specialty food store or whatever, but I love this and I can't wait to use it now in all of my baking and cooking and things that call for specific flake salt, not just like classic table salt. So thanks grandma for that. Next up here from Tarzan, we got this set of three vine garlands, decorative accents for your home. So it's like vines. It's like vines that you'd put above your cupboards and stuff. In our new place now we have like a space between the cupboards and the ceiling and we have a bunch of cool like mugs and display pieces and stuff up there. But I really want to try vines up there as well and see how that looks. So Santa came through, or Tarzan I guess came through and got us a bunch of vines. So can't wait to try those out now up there and see how they look. Then next up here from Brandon's dad, Kevin, he got us a bottle of apple pear spark sparkling juice, which I think we're supposed to use on New Year's Eve, so hopefully we can. In this beautiful bag, you guys, I'm obsessed with anything like red plaid, tartan, that kind of thing, and the bag is just so cute, I love it. Next up here from my mother, we got a haunted mansion floor mat. Yes, if you guys haven't seen on Instagram or Snapchat, Brandon and I redecorated our entire bathroom here in the new place to be haunted mansion themed. So we painted the walls, got new shower curtains, painted this like above the toilet cabinet and these little shelves and stuff, all to fit with this haunted mansion theme. And I had this on my Amazon wish list and obviously my mom saw it and got it for us. And I'm obsessed. It's really cushy and soft actually too, which is nice. It'll be great for right outside the shower or in front of the sink, wherever we decide to put it. But it matches the shower curtain perfectly and I'm obsessed and this is like the exact same color that we painted the walls and it's just beautiful so I'm obsessed with this can't wait to put that in there and see how it looks it's gonna be great and then something else for the bathroom now we also got this two-tier bathroom shower caddy. I had one of these on my Amazon wish list, and we got it, obviously, from my mom, I think. I wanted somewhere to be able to store shower gels and like the loofahs and stuff. And this one's neat because it actually has like little holes in the bottom as well, so you can put your tubes of shampoo or bottles or whatever upside down and then just like open that or pump it or whatever. So yeah, pretty cute. We'll have to build that and set it up on the shower and see 
see how it looks. And then next up here from Brandon, I got these Funko Minis, Disneyland Anniversary 65th Edition, Peter Pan at Peter Pan's Flight Attraction and Captain Hook at Peter Pan's Flight Attraction. They're little mini like figurines. I don't have any of these ones as of yet. So thank you so much to Brandon for giving me these. They're by the same creators of the Funko Pops, but they're just like a different kind of stylized figure. And it's really cute because they're on the Peter Pan's Flight like attraction. I'm not sure if you guys can see it in there with the reflection of the plastic, but they're really, really cute. I'm obsessed. It's number four and five. There's like a whole collection of them. Apparently there's seven different ones. So I don't want to go crazy and start collecting them all, but I might have to. We'll see what happens. And then next up here from Brandon, he had no idea what Caitlin had got us. So he didn't know that she got us cheese knives, but he also got me a set of cheese knives. And these are really cool. They're different than the other ones, which is neat. So I have lots of cheese knives now, which is great. So thanks so much to Brandon for the knives. Can't wait to give those a go now and make a charcuterie board. Maybe after this video, I'll make one for myself and I can eat it while editing. Next up here from my mom, she got us these beautiful ties for our new media room because in our new place that we moved into, we have decided to create a media room. So we painted the walls like a beautiful red velvet like burgundy color, very like old Hollywood glamour. And I purchased these like floor to ceiling length velvet curtains to put in between the space of the walls. So like you enter the room, you have to like pull back the curtain. And we didn't have any ties to tie up the curtain. So she got us these beautiful gold castle ties. I don't know where she got them from, but they're just stunning. I'm obsessed with them. And they will look perfect with the red velvet curtains and the walls. And I can't wait to have like my old Hollywood media room. It's gonna be so good, you guys. It's gonna be so beautiful. Next up here from my mom, I believe, it was or Santa I don't really know I got a few vinyls you guys so I got this beautiful Selena Gomez rare vinyl this album came out in January of this year and I never purchased it on vinyl so now I have it thank you so much mother I love it look at her now then next up here we have this Spice Girls forever vinyl this is the 20th anniversary LP pressing this was never released on vinyl before the album is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year in 2020 and if y'all don't know the Spice Girls get with it Paula is a bop there's the front there's the back and it's also like a gatefold packaging as well. Nothing super exciting inside the gatefold. It's basically just like all the song lyrics and credits and stuff for the writers. But it also comes with a few lithographs I here of each of the girls, which I can see if I can pull out. So yeah, there's here. I'll just show these two for now. It's, who is it? Sporty Spice and Baby Spice, Emma and Mel C. But yeah, really cute. I have a couple other Spice Girls vinyls now, so excited to add this one to the collection. And then next up here from Taylor Swift, I have this Picture to Burn vinyl, which is basically, it's literally just Picture to Burn on the vinyl. So it's side A is Picture to Burn, side B is Picture to Burn Live. So there it is, really cute. Love that, it's a mini like seven inch vinyl. And then I also have this Taylor Swift Folklore LP as well. And this is, this is the In the Trees edition. So this is the same as the original CD that she released to stores. Cause like I said before, she had eight different versions of it. She went crazy. But this is like the normal version, In the Trees is what it's called. And then this is also a gatefold in here with some cool pictures. There she is running around in a little dress. And then there's the back with all of the song titles and stuff. And it also has the bonus track, The Lakes, which is available exclusively on vinyl and CD pressings. And next up now here from my grandma, I have an Amazon gift card for 50 bucks. So if there's anything that I didn't get on my Amazon wish list this year, I can literally just like, you know what, buy it myself with my Amazon gift card. Love that, thank you so much, grandma. And then there's a couple cute gifts here from Brandon now, which I'm obsessed with. Like I said before, sharks and bats are my favorite animals and Brandon knows that. And he got me this cute little chonky bat who I've wanted for months and months and months and months like I don't even know how long but at the store in line they call toy traders they sell these little bats it's from the brand jelly cat London I don't know if that's like a big brand or what it is but when I went there to purchase this one time they were sold out and I guess he knew how much I wanted one, so he went back and bought one for me. So thank you so much for my cute little chunky bat. They make it in a few different sizes. I think this is like the big one is what it is. There's one size smaller than this. And then to go with that kind of, he purchased me a bat house, which I have always wanted as well. And I did have one on my Amazon wish list. This one is not from Amazon. It's from a little store out in Fort Langley actually. And it is so cute because I don't know if you guys can see there, but this is the shape of a bat. How cute is that you guys? And if you slide it down, there's a little bat right there. Like I'm obsessed. And to make things even better, it comes with a guide of different species of bats and their characteristics and traits and everything like that. It is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. I can't wait to hang this out somewhere in the backyard of the new house. It's beautiful. And I'm so excited to have a bat house now, you guys. I hope I get bats. 
I love them. My battery is dying, so I'm just gonna keep going until it dies. Next up here, we have Lake Placid on Blu-ray from Brandon. Have a relaxing vacation at Lake Placid. He's never seen the movie. It was on my Amazon wish list, so he purchased it for me. It's about gators. It's funny, because I was having like crazy alligator crocodile dreams, like attacking humans and stuff, and he's like, I'll get you this movie. And that's literally what happens in this movie. So can't wait to have more dreams about that. Thank you, Brandon. Next up here from my best friend, Samantha, she got me some oven mitts. Yes, she got us this cute pair of Nightmare Before Christmas oven mitts, which are super duper soft and cozy inside. They're like plush lined, which is really, really nice. So this will definitely keep your hands cool when you're grabbing hot stuff out of the oven. So love those. Nightmare Before Christmas on this side, the plain gray on that side. Thank you so much to Samantha. I love kitchen stuff, you guys. Then next up here from Michael, my mother, she gave me this little um, canvas print that Michael had painted for Jim and Pam in the office and it is Jim and Pam. This was their wedding gift that he had given them in the episode of Jim and Pam's wedding. Spoiler alert, they do end up getting married and this is what Michael gives them. It's so cute. He spent all his time painting this beautiful canvas art piece of Jim and Pam together. His version that he gives them is like giant but obviously they're not gonna make a real version of that. I mean they might, who knows. But this is just like a mini version of it. So we'll have to hang this somewhere in some space and always remember the wonderful memories of Jim and Pam's wedding. And then to keep in the office theme next up here, I have this office of Official Party Planning Guide to Planning Parties. I saw this at a bookstore and I thought it was super duper cool, so I found it on Amazon and added it to my wish list. And my mom picked it up for me. And it is really neat. It's like a planning guide, as based on the title of the book. But it also has different recipes and stuff for food, fun craft ideas, different party ideas and stuff. So it's really, really cool. If you're into like planning and activities and things like that, check it out. Also, if you're a fan of The Office, pretty cool. I love it. I'm excited to like sit through and read it and maybe even have my own office party now at some point. We'll have to see, right? Next up here from Brittany, I have a VIP private show perfume. I don't know if you guys can see there on the package. It's similar to the private show fragrance, which I had showed earlier somewhere in the pile, but this is like the other edition. So just like she has 30 different versions of fantasy, I guess she also has 30 different versions of private show. And this is one of them. And here it is. It's beautiful. It has a sparkle lid. It's a different color. It's really cute. I think it smells good. I don't really remember if I smelled this one, but I'm sure it smells good. All of Brittany's fragrances smell amazing. Next up here from my sister-in-law, Tasha, she got me these makeup removing microfiber pads, which you don't need any cleanser or stuff to use, basically just water, and they wipe stuff away. After this video, I'll have to try them out and see how they work. It comes with 14 of these, apparently, and then also a little like washing bag, so you just put them in here and throw it in the wash, and that's how they get washed, I guess. So, really sweet. Thank you so much to Tasha. Love these. Can't wait to try them out. Next up here from my mother, I have this amazing haunted mansion. Oh god, it's laughing at me. Haunted mansion, like apothecary jar, ghost jar. I don't even know what you would call it. I think it's just called ghost jar. But I always wanted one of these at Disneyland since I'd seen them there when I was there in October when I went with my friend John and Katrina and also Brandon. And John picked one up, but I didn't have enough space in my suitcase to get one because it comes in this big box. And I saw that somebody was selling them on Amazon Prime, which is crazy, for like 50 bucks. And they were like 60 bucks at Disneyland US. With the Canadian version, that'd be a lot more. So I asked for it and my mom got it for me, which is so cool. So I'm obsessed. It comes with a death certificate as well. And the version that I got, because there's a few different versions of the characters that you can get of like the Haunted Mansion characters, I guess. The one that I had received is laughing something sinister at me. This is the Hatbox Ghost. So it comes with this little charm here, which is the Hatbox. And then if you guys can read there, I don't know if you will pick it up. Is it even focused? I have no idea. But basically, if you push down on the top of the lid, which looks like that, which is beautiful, it lights up the little Hatbox Ghost character in there. It does talk, I don't know. I don't know how long it goes on for. It says a few different things. This is obviously just the, uh, the theme song <laughs> for the Haunted Mansion. But it comes inside this beautiful box, which is stunning. It's like silk lined. I will put it back in here for now. And this will also go perfectly in our Haunted Mansion themed bathroom. I'll put it up on top of the shelf and see how it looks, but I am obsessed. The box is beautiful too. It's so spooky. Everything about Haunted Mansion, you guys, I'm obsessed with. So thank you so much to my mom for getting that for me. And now I have a whole stack of shirts here that I'm gonna go through. I know this one for sure is from my sister-in-law, Tasha. I was out shopping with her and I said that I wanted it and apparently she had purchased it when we were there together. I don't know how because I did not see that. But it is one of the Stephen Rhodes shirts. It's Meet Your Doppelganger, Activities for Children. And she is a terrifying 
little doppelganger. So love that. Next up here from The Office, this one is from my mom. It is The Bats of Scranton, Pennsylvania. If you guys have seen The Office, you'll know that there was a bat inside of Dunder Mifflin in The Office. And uh, it attacks Meredith, and everyone thinks that Meredith is infected with rabies. I think she actually does get infected with rabies. And then Jim pretends that he got bit by it and he's becoming a vampire. But uh, anyways, great episode. Here's the different species of bats in Dunder Mifflin, apparently. And then next up here from my mom as well, this is a Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island shirt. Oh, it's Scooby-Doo Return to Zombie Island, my bad. So this is the sequel film that came out earlier, I think earlier this year, 2020, maybe 2019. Anyways, really cute. All the gang as like zombie characters, really fun. Next up here, also from my mother, this one is a Britney Spears shirt, which I had never seen before. It is so pretty. Britney Spears, I'm a slave for you. Stunning, so pretty. She looks great there. This is from like the 2001 music video for Slave For You. And then this one is from Santa. It is a Britney Spears, it's oversized very oversized because this is medium. It is the Urban Outfitters Britney Spears t-shirt, I guess. And it's three different pictures of Britney in different colors with her signature down below. And yeah, love that. So pretty. And then last up here for shirts, I think, maybe, is another Britney shirt. So did I get, I got like three or four Britney shirts this year. That's crazy. This is a Britney Spears shirt and it's a bunch of different pictures of Britney there. And then it just says Britney on the bottom of it, which is pretty cute. So love this. She looks great in every one of those photos. Those are the shirts. Glad we're done with the shirts. Then next up here from my mom, she got me this 10 piece fridge organizer set, which I had on my list for Christmas, you guys. This was something I wanted from Amazon. As you grow up, as you become adults, you stop wishing for less like frivolous toy things, which I mean, everything that I've received so far. And you start asking for important life things like kitchen stuff. And this is a 10 piece fridge organizer set. So I don't know if you guys can see what the picture shows there, but it's basically a bunch of different little like plexiglass containers to organize and keep your fridge nice and tidy. So it's 10 pieces, it saves a bunch of storage space, easy to clean and stack, convenient carrying handles. Can't wait to try these out. I'm definitely gonna organize the fridge nicely with those. It even comes with like a container for eggs, a container for sodas if you drink them and stuff. So can't wait to put those in the fridge and organize and feel like refreshed and rejuvenated with a clean home. Next up here is a little gift that I actually purchased for Brandon and I, I guess. Um, I signed the tag to Blake and Brandon from Ichabod. I knew that Brandon had never seen this before, but I have a friend actually that is from California that is an artist, and I knew that the painting that she had done would go beautifully in our new home, and so I decided to buy it as a gift for Brandon and I, and then I went out and got a frame for it. But it is this stunning Headless Horseman photo that she had painted. Her name is Annette, and it's a beautiful painting picture that she painted and was selling copies of it. I don't think there's any left now, but I got a frame for it. And it's the Headless Horseman from The Adventures of Ichabod, Mr. Toad, the Disney film. It's so pretty. I think it looks so great in the frame. It's like a wood grain kind of frame, which goes beautifully with all the trees and everything in the background. The colors are just stunning. They'll go beautifully in our home. And I'm really excited for that. So that was just like a little bonus thing that I was gonna show because I got it for both of us. Then next up here is a gift from my friend, John, who I didn't even know that we were exchanging gifts this year. It was just kind of like, I always get my friends a little something Thing. And he was like, you know what? I'm gonna get you a gift too, Blake. And I was like, no, please don't. But he did anyways. So here it is. It is a vintage cat mask from Spirit Halloween. And I have the other versions of this. And it's so funny because this is the one that I couldn't get after Spirit Halloween was closing down. One that I didn't purchase even throughout the season. And I got all the other ones of like the vintage collection. And I guess he knew that I didn't have it or I don't know if he gave me his or what the situation is. But now I have the vintage cat, which is the one that I wanted the most. And I'm so excited. He's gonna look so cute. I'm thinking that I'm just gonna like hang them, have like a feature wall of masks with all the different like vintage designs and stuff because I think it'd be so cool and neat. So thank you so much to John for getting me that. And then also he got me a little Moana Christmas tree ornament, which is the same kind as the ones that my sister-in-law's father got for us, but it's not a double and I don't have any other Moana ornament aside from the Disney store ones. So thank you so much to John for getting us that. And then also in the bottom here, there's a whole bunch of different chocolates, like Lindor chocolates and kisses and stuff. So thank you so much to John. It was beautiful. You didn't have to do that, you did. That was so sweet. Then next up here from Brandon's dad, Kevin, he got me a bag of pine nuts, you guys. Pine nuts are so expensive and so crazy delicious. And I love making um, green beans with pine nuts. And I never buy them because they're just so ridiculously expensive. But here is this giant bag. It's 680 grams of pine nuts, which is enough to last like years. Apparently Sam was telling me that there's some sickness you can get if you have like bad pine nuts or too many pine nuts or something. So I will have to limit myself with those, but they're so delicious and thank you 
so much to Kevin for getting those for me. Next up here from, I don't know who this is from. It's, oh wait, it says here, Blake and Brandon, Merry Christmas, XO, Blake or Brandon, sorry, Merry Christmas, XOXO. I think it's the same as the uh, pear juice or whatever the other one was. This is sparkling apple juice. I'm pretty sure this is from Brandon's dad, Kevin, as well, to use on New Year's Eve. So thank you so much, Kevin. We will drink our sparkling non-alcoholic apple juices because I do not drink. Then next up here from my friend Ashley, who is actually one of Caitlin's best friends as well, my friend Caitlin. We've gotten really close this year throughout COVID. We have been in each other's bubbles and she decided to get us gifts, which I felt so bad about because I got her a few things, but she actually went out and was like, I'm gonna get you guys stuff for real. And I was like, oh Lord. So she didn't have to and she did. And it was so sweet. So thank you so much to Ashley. So I'll show you guys what she got us. It is the house and home style for living set of four mini bowls. They're really cute. They're like little black ramekins and they will go perfectly with all of our kitchen decor. And everything that we have is like spooky cute Disney Halloween horror stuff. And so they're just little black ramekins. They have a black inside as well. And I love them. I think they're so cute. Thank you, Ashley. And then not only did she get that for us, she got us these little forks, which are so cute. Little cocktail forks she got us. Salt Spring Kitchen Charcuterie Mustard for charcuterie boards, which is so cute. I don't know where she even got this stuff from. And she got us this little jar, this little like canister jar for like tea or sugar or whatever you want to put in it. So cute. She got us this one and she got us this one. So she literally went like crazy above and beyond. I don't like, I don't know. I have the best friends, you guys, and it was so sweet. So thank you so much, Ashley. I'm gonna have the most beautiful kitchen ever, like aesthetically pleasing, 100%. I'm obsessed. And now we are truly winding down, thank goodness, because it's been like an hour of filming and I do not want to edit this. But next up here we have from Brandon's dad, Kevin, it is the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company office gift set. What's included? A tote bag, a pin set, sticky notes, a towel, and a bobblehead figurine. So if you can see there, it's a little bobblehead of Dwight. And then inside we have this Dunder Mifflin towel, which is almost more like a blanket. Like I don't know how you would dry your body with this because it just feels like a blanket. But I mean, if y'all want to call it a towel, by all means, call a towel. There's this little tote bag here, Dunder Mifflin on this side, and then Michael Scott's Dunder Mifflin Scranton Meredith Palmer Memorial Celebrity Rabies Awareness Pro-Am Fun Run Race for the Cure, which is from the Fun Run episode. And then there's also these little sticky notes in here, which are little like shroot buck sticky notes. And then here we have Michael Scott Paper Company, Dunder Mifflin Paper Company, and World's Best Boss pins. And then also the bobblehead that I'm not going to take out of the package, but there it is there. So it's a cute little set. Thank you so much to Brandon's dad for getting this for me. This was on my wish list. So he must have gotten one for me before they all sold out. I'm obsessed and thank you so much, Kevin. And then next up here for my best friend, Samantha, I got this Zero Head Ceramic Teapot, which is stunning. I only have one teapot and it's not huge. So Sam got me this one and look how cute this is, you guys. Are you obsessed? Look at that. It is so flippin' cute. Little Zero, like the tea comes out of his nose. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. It is so adorable. His little ears are the handles and I just, oh my God, it's so cute. It's gonna go perfectly in our kitchen too. Like everyone got us such good kitchen stuff this year, but I mean, I guess that's what happens when you move into a new home. You like end up getting all different kinds of like essential items and stuff, which I love because those are the best kind of gifts to get. Anyways, I love Zero so much. Never Poor Christmas is one of my favorites ever and Obviously, Sam knows that because she got us the uh, oven mitts and the teapot. So thank you so much to Samantha. I love him. I can't wait to use that and pour tea out of his nostrils. It'll be great. Then next up here, I have another double thing that I did forget about you guys. It was hidden underneath everything else, but this is the Britney Spears Glory Vinyl, the 2020 edition. She like re-released the album, I guess. I don't even know if she knows about it, but her team re-released the album in 2020 and added a bunch of remixes and stuff. So it is a two piece like gatefold edition, two vinyls, beautiful set. I already have it though, so I will be returning this one and exchanging it for something else. But it is a beautiful set to have if you're a Britney fan. It comes with a couple pictures in there as well, which is really cool. So I do wanna get frames for those and hang those up because they're really cute. And then next up here from my friend Tiana, I decided to exchange cards with my friends this year. And so I got everyone's addresses and mailed out cards and we exchanged cards. But Tiana went above and beyond and she actually came and dropped off a gift on my doorstep and I didn't even know about it until I went out there and I was sitting there and I was like, what is this? Oh my gosh. And it was a gift from her, you guys. And the first thing in here is 
my favorite scent, Snow Fairy. It's a bath bomb from Lush. So it's the Snow Fairy bath bomb, which is not the same thing that Brandon got me because this is just like the solo Snow Fairy. And she also got me this adorable mug. Fa la 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 la. May your Christmas be a little bit Alexis. Again, from Schitt's Creek, like the same kind of mug that my sister-in-law got me. This is Alexis, you guys. I'm obsessed with her. She is one of my favorite characters from television. She is so cute. And I believe that this is locally made as well. It's from One Crafty Keeper, Cheeky Métis Mama. I can't wait to drink tea out of this. If you guys haven't seen Shit's Creek, please do me a favor and start to watch the series because it is so, so good and definitely worth it to watch. Thank you so much to Tiana for those incredible gifts. We were just exchanging cards and she decided to get me something. So thank you, Tiana. I love them. Okay, now for the last few gifts that I can see, I got this giant popcorn maker from Samantha. It is so cute. I did set it up and make some popcorn, so it's over there. This is just the empty box, but it is a nostalgic popcorn cart. Stainless steel kettle with dual hinge lid and built-in stirring system. And look at all the stuff, you guys. It comes on a stand, or you can just serve it like on the counter, and this piece comes apart from the bottom piece. But it's your own at-home popcorn maker. So Sam suggested for me to put that in my media room, and I was like, oh my goodness, genius. So we're gonna get like the projector and the pull-down screen and everything with the velvet curtains and have like our own mini movie theater. It'll be so good. So thank you so much to Samantha. You outdid yourself this year. It was so sweet and I appreciate all the gifts that you got me. I love them all so much. Thank you. And then next up here from Brandon. This is the last gift from Brandon that I can see. This was like the big gift for me, which he didn't have to get me at all, but he still did. So again, as I have said numerous times, my favorite animals, bats and sharks. He got me this stunning necklace. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. I'll see if I can get closer. So this is from a local company in Vancouver called Pura. And if you guys can see, it's a little bat. I will step back here. All of these different little pendants that this brand creates all have a different meaning for them. And this one means brave. And there's a little backstory behind it. But the company Pura is a husband and wife founded company. And what they did was they originally went to like an estate sale and found all these old stamps for like wax mailers and stuff. And they decided to take these old seals and create pendants out of them. So it's 100% sterling silver. And then they press the pendant design, like the wax seals into the silver and create these designs. And so these are all old like 18th, 19th century designs. If you guys don't know the company, you can check out Pura.com. They do sell online as well as locally here within British Columbia. I actually got my mom a necklace as well for Christmas this year with a different design. Not a bat. But Brandon knows that bats are my favorite animals and the symbolicness behind the brave is beautiful. I'm obsessed with this and I'm so happy. I don't have any real like real jewelry pieces in my life. I have lots of like cheap stuff that I get from like Urban Outfitters and stuff like that but this is like real jewelry now. So thank you so much Brandon. I do love that so much and I can't wait to wear it all the time now. Oh, Okay, you guys, it has come down to the final two gifts that I have here. This pile is ridiculously insane and massive, and the final two things that I have were like the big gifts this year. So, first things first, it is this Audio Technica ATLP 60XBT. I, I don't even know what all that stuff means, but it's a turntable. I had an old LP turntable thingy that was one of those like everything in one. It was like CD player, tape player, FM radio, Bluetooth thingy, and it was the speaker built in. So, it was great for what it was at the time before I had like seriously gotten into vinyl collecting and it, I mean it just doesn't do as great a job like some of the vinyls sound really laggy or skippy and stuff like that so I was like I do want to upgrade eventually and so my mother knew that I wanted one of these and she picked this up for me and I'm obsessed with it it is so good it's not like low budget by any means but like in comparison to like how expensive they can be this is one of the like mid-level range I guess in terms of pricing but it connects via Bluetooth I don't think there's a speaker option for it for a cable oh yeah it does say RCA cables included but it also also has a Bluetooth connection, which we connect with our brand new Vizio 5.1 home theater surround sound system as well that she got us. So this is amazing. I'm obsessed with this too. The fun thing about this is that it also connects to TV. It connects to your phone. So you can play anything on these speakers. So with that record player, we can play it on these speakers. And I have set up these speakers now in front of the TV back there. So we can sit in the living room with our 5.1 surround sound system around us. And it's like we're sitting in our own little cozy movie theater nook. It is one of the best gifts I've ever received. These two things together, like to have a real official LP player now and a like super deluxe sound system to go with it is just absolutely incredible. I am so thankful for these. I love my mom so much and I'm so happy that I finally have one of these. I have them set up and they look and sound great and I'm so thankful. So with that, now that is everything that I've officially received in hand as of yet. I know that there is still a couple things coming that are delayed or late or whatever because of Christmas mailing and craziness of 2020 and stuff. So I do not hold that against anyone. Uh, but there are a few other things coming, which I might make a video of in the future. But
But I am so thankful for everything that I received and as I said at the beginning this is not a video of me like bragging or showing off or trying to make other people feel bad because that's not what I'm about. That is 100% not why I do this. I do this because I enjoy watching people open up their stuff and showing off what they received. So I know that there are other people like that out there that do enjoy and like I said I used to make these videos every year for Christmas and just over the past couple years I know that a lot of people have some strong opinions about things which I do get. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions but for me I do love showing the things that I got and showing everyone a little bit of insight into my life and to see what I received for Christmas because I am so thankful and so appreciative for the people that I have that were able to do this for me. So yes I love everything that I got this year. It was definitely I feel like one of the biggest Christmases we've ever had and what better way to celebrate than in your brand new house. I am so thankful and appreciative for everything that I have in the world and I love everyone that is part of my life and everyone at home as well. Thank you guys so much for watching if you did tune into this video. If not that's okay you won't know my thanks anyways. But anyways yes that is going to be it for this video so thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime that I upload a video because even though it is rare you will want to know when I upload so that you guys can watch. So yes thank you guys so much. Don't forget to comment like and subscribe. All my social media links will be down in the marvel box below including my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, all those good things. So definitely be sure to check out those links and until next time I will see you all very soon. Wishing you all the happiest of holidays and all the best in 2021. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye.